everyone, welcome to episode 17 of No Limits. Today's episode we'll be talking about is Zoom on our Android or iOS phone. So if you have yet to watch our previous video on Zoom on desktop, do check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we actually learn more about how to use Zoom on our mobile phone, there are some things to note and that is first thing is that if we actually use our phone uh, to use Zoom, you'll realize that in a single screen, there will only be up to four participants in a single screen. So if let's say we are using laptops to actually use our Zoom, there will be a maximum of 49 participants can be in a single screen. So uh, beside this, there are some things to uh, differentiate is that if you realize what is the difference between uh, Apple phone and Android phone, uh, actually the difference is not that big. Uh, but if you actually are using uh, those older version of Android phones, you'll realize that there is no this function, which is the virtual background. So for the Apple phone and a newer version of Android phone, they will have this function called the virtual background that you can actually make use of. Okay, so now we will start off by learning how to download Zoom on our Android phone. So I will head off to my Play Store and after that I will search for my Zoom app. Then we have to click onto the install button and you have to wait for it to load. So after which it has been downloaded, click onto the open button to actually start the mobile app. So you will be entered to this page and there is an option for you to join a meeting, to sign up and to sign in. If let's say you are joining as a participant, you are just have to actually click onto the join a meeting without actually having any account to sign in. So in the event that I have my meeting ID, okay, I have my meeting ID and my meeting passcode, all I need to do is click onto the join a meeting. So I click onto it and you will be you'll be prompted to write to type in your meeting ID. So I will put in my meeting ID. Okay, so after that, I will require me to actually put in my name. So I just have to put in my name. And at the bottom, you'll be given uh, two options before you actually join in. So if let's say the moment you join a meeting, you don't wish to actually connect your audio, you can actually uh, turn on that option. And if let's say the moment you join in to the meeting as well, you wish uh, to actually turn off your video, you can also uh, turn on that option as well. Okay, after all is done, you can actually click onto the join button. Okay, and you will be prompted to actually uh, put in your meeting passcode. So I will actually put in the passcode that is given to me. Then after that, click onto OK. Then, you will be prompted that uh, you are at the waiting room, uh, so you have to wait for the host to actually admit you inside before you can actually enter the meeting room. Once they admit, you will be connected and after that, here you are and you will be inside your meeting room. How do we install Zoom free app on our iOS phone? So we have to actually locate our app store and click onto it. After which, ensure that it's under the search icon and we click onto the search bar and we will type in Zoom. After that, click onto search and you will be able to see this Zoom cloud meetings. After which, you have to click onto the Get button if you have not downloaded the Zoom app before. Then you have to select the Get button. 
then you will have to wait for it to load. After it is done loading, you can click on to open and it will bring you to the starting point of your Zoom app itself. After that, you will realize that Android and iOS Zoom features would be similar beside one thing which is the virtual background. Now you will actually take a look at the features inside Zoom on mobile phones. Okay, so now if let's say you wish to actually host a meeting, you are required to have an account to actually sign in before you can start off with your meeting. So I will click onto my sign in and you will be asked with the option on which, uh, which web do you wish to actually sign in to. I will actually want to sign in through my Google account. So I click onto my Google account and you'll be prompted to this web page itself. There, I will choose one account and click onto it and you will be bring my Zoom account on my mobile app. Okay, so after that, let's say I wish to actually open up my uh, I wish to actually host my meeting. I will click onto my new meeting. So if let's say you want to join any meeting, you can click onto the join meeting. And if let's say you want to schedule a meeting, then click onto the schedule button. Okay, then I'll click onto my start meeting and will be prompted uh, to this page. So if let's say you actually wish to turn your video on the moment uh, you start your meeting, then you can actually turn on that option. So you have this personal meeting ID where it is always constant so if let's say you actually have a meeting with someone that you are consistently having a meeting with then i think it's okay to actually use your personal meeting id but if let's say uh, you are having a meeting with someone that is not that regular not on a regular basis i think it's better not to use your personal meeting id as uh, this meeting id they can actually easily assess it again okay so now i'll actually wish to actually turn off my personal meeting id so they will actually give me a random personal meeting id instead so i'll start the meeting Okay, so uh, you'll be entered to your meeting room, then the option will still be the same. So there's a mute option where you can actually mute yourself or after that you can actually uh, turn off the, actually unmute it. Okay, so if let's, let's say you wish to actually stop your video, you can actually turn off it and there will be your profile picture appear there. If you have a profile picture, you have an option for you to share. So it's either you can share your photos, your document, your Google Drive, your bookmark, your screen, your camera, and the whiteboard as well. So I'll show you an example. So I'll be sharing my screen. Okay, so they will actually say Zoom will actually start capture everything that is displayed on your screen. So this whole entire screen will be actually captured uh, to be shown to the participants. So I'll start now. Okay, so uh, there's also an option for you to actually draw uh, in the midst of you uh, sharing your screen. So I'll actually allow that. Then after that, we can move on. Okay, so right now it's actually uh, an option for, it's already been shared. So the participants participant can actually see your screen already. Okay. So now I will actually want to stop share, click on to the stop sharing. Okay, so there's this participant, whereas you can actually see the number of participants is in your meeting room. So you can actually have an invite button. You can actually invite them to actually come to your meeting room. There is a mute all option. So you can actually mute everyone the moment they enter your meeting room. And there is this three dot where you can actually ask everyone to unmute themselves as well. Okay. After that, there is this more option. 
okay it allows you to have the chat function so you can actually click onto the chat function and start chatting with everyone so if you actually see this um, send to everyone so if there is participants inside you can actually uh, send privately to each of the uh, participants in any case that uh, you want to avoid any embarrassment or anything you can actually send a private message to them as well okay so the more option there is emoji for you to choose from also so it will be shown at the screen after that there is this security function so you can actually lock the meeting so when you actually lock the meeting it allows um, the whole meeting to actually it actually disable people from entering your meeting room if you actually turn on the option despite them having your meeting passcode or meeting id yeah so you can actually hide uh, your profile picture as well if you actually turn on it so there's this allow participants to so uh, you actually can give the rights to the participant to share their screen if you actually turn on and yes you can actually uh, have an option to remove participants as well okay other than that there is this meeting settings okay so this meeting settings allows you to actually uh, if let's say when people join in or actually leave the room you can actually play some sound at least it indicates someone leave or someone actually join you have that option to actually turn on and there's an option for you to actually mute upon entry so the moment they enter they will be muted okay so when you end this entire meeting it gives you an option to actually end the meeting for everyone Okay, or you can just leave the meeting while the participant uh, can still remain. Okay, so now I will actually want to schedule a meeting. So in the event that you have a meeting that is few days after, you actually wish to actually schedule beforehand. So there's this schedule meeting. So I can actually select the date. Okay, after that you can actually set the timing between when and when. After which... You can actually um, have like a passcode you can actually change your passcode as well okay so after that yeah so yeah and you can actually add to calendar as well after that you can click on done then they will actually ask if you can actually allow Zoom to direct your calendar. So in the event that you schedule a meeting, you want to put it into your calendar, you have to allow them before you can uh, let them put your scheduled meeting in your calendar so that they can remind you. Okay, so yeah, you can add your invitation. So you actually have to send an email so that people would know so the meeting details has been set so you can actually see so you can actually invite people uh, start inviting people for your scheduled meeting and all you can go back and you can see under this meeting tab and you will realize that there are all these are the meetings that you actually have scheduled so the moment uh, the time start you can actually click onto the start button and your meeting will be uh, helped okay so you'll realize that iPhone users and the newer version of Android phone will have the features of virtual background while you'll realize that there is some limitation in the older version of Android phones where they won't have any virtual background features to make use of. So under the more option, you are able to see there's virtual background in their phone to actually cover up their uh, messy background. When you click onto the virtual background, you are able to select the different background that is offered by them. And you are able to actually uh, change the different pictures inside them. So if let's say you were to uh, choose more than that, you can actually select the plus button where it allows you to choose uh, your own photos in your gallery itself. 
Now we have come to the end of our episode. So thank you for watching this episode on Zoom, on Android and iOS phone. If you like more of our videos, do remember to subscribe to our Simple IT TV channel and like this video, share this video among your friends so that they will know more about Zoom. And I will see you in our next episode. Bye.